Hi and welcome back to another Amazon selling video. It is rainy day here out in Oklahoma. Um, hopefully my little editing skills are skills are gonna cut out the rain noise, but it is raining and it's like not fun to source in the rain, but here I am running to the car every time. Anyways, if you're new to my channel, my name is Nikki Kirk and I'm out here sourcing for retail arbitrage today and I would thought I would take you with me to Bye Bye Baby. They don't have a ton of locations, I think, here in Oklahoma. They only have one or two. One in this city where I'm currently at, which is Tulsa. So I'm going to hit it up. I do actually have good luck with Bye Bye Baby online, doing online arbitrage. So I am confident that maybe we'll find some stuff. But regardless, we're going to head over and check it out. It has been like four years since I've been to a Bye Bye Baby. It's been quite a while. Um... It's January and so far I'm doing really good today. So I just got done at Target and they had real good clearance and I got some other stuff at Target. There's a little bit of a shortage of something right now. So I loaded up on that stuff. Most of the stuff I've gotten so far today from Walmart and Target, I am FBMing. So I'm listing it in the store. Hopefully it's going to sell soon. If not, I'll just go ahead and put it in my shed and wait for it to sell. All right. I'm just rambling at this point. So let's head over to Bye Bye Baby and see what we can find. Okay, so the rain has stopped, which is good, but there's no saving my hair. My hair is what it is today. Anyways, I often forget that stores like this, so it's a part of the Bed Bath & Beyond family, and it's similar to like Kohl's and Belk, where if the stuff's not on sale, it's overly priced. Every time I scan baby stuff, I'm like, how do people afford kids? But obviously they probably don't shop here. Okay, so anyways, I saw toys right away and tons and tons of clearance stuff. So. Some of the toys like looked like maybe they might make profit, but then when you click through, the fees are so high that they don't make any money or they make like a dollar or two. And the fees are the fees. Let's not get upset at the fees. One way around the fees, if you don't want to do FBA, is FBM. And I'm FBMing a lot more recently because of the fees. So I'm going to show a couple things throughout this video that they don't necessarily make money FBA. But if you FBM them, they do make a little more money and it might be worth your while. One thing to keep in mind for the baby category is that the rank has to be kind of low. Like anywhere 40 to 50,000, like 50,000 is getting up there. I've got some stuff that I bought from Bye Bye Baby online um, that is ranked 100,000 in baby. And I sent it in a few months ago and it has not sold because that is a high rank for baby. If you want my rank guidelines, like what I suggest, ranks that will sell in the various categories, it's a free download when you sign up for my email newsletter, so you can grab that if you want it. The link is below, or you can just head to my website and grab it there. Now, it is January, and when this video comes out, it'll be like the end of January, but every spring and then again in summer or like fall time, they are doing, even though I know it's winter, it's spring on retail. Anyways, they do reset. So there's so much clearance throughout the store. So I got, I went through the Walmart clearance. The Target clearance was real good today. And then there's tons and tons of clearance here at Bye Bye Baby. So I did scan a lot of the clearance. Now here is some of the examples of what I found. So this item is a mobile, mobile, whatever you call it. And it looks good. It looks like it makes money, but Amazon is on the listing. So first things first, I went ahead and I put the ASIN into IP alert, which is a uh, paid app it's a paid chrome extension and it comes with an app where you can input asins and or brand names and it'll tell you if they're known for ips and in the summer months it'll tell you if it's known for meltable or sorry if it is meltable anyway so i put it in there because i didn't know the brand and it came up all good so that checked out 
However, Amazon is on the listing, and so I just wanted to check Keepa to see if they share the buy box. And it does not appear that they share the buy box because they're giving it to themselves 100% of the time. So even though it looks like it's going to make money, I'm not going to fight Amazon who is in the buy box 100% of the time on it on that one. But there was another item from that brand, which they do share the buy box. So this one, look at that. It makes $91 and Amazon shares the buy box. So that one is a safe bet. That one I would totally invest in because it's only $45 and it's going to make $91. Heck yeah. If you want the IP Alert Chrome extension and the app, they have given me a $30 off code. So I will drop it here or it's on the screen. Just yoursellingguide.com slash IP alert and you will be redirected right to it and it already has the coupon code or if you go to it the coupon code is just my name Nikki N-I-K-K-I. Here's another one of those examples I was talking about where this one it doesn't make a lot of money FBA but if you were to FBM them it does make a little bit more money and this item is lightweight and at most it's probably going to cost five dollars to ship it. So anything that you have that's lightweight, fits in a padded envelope, fits in a small box, and it's gonna to be total with everything under a pound, you can estimate at the very high end, it's gonna be $6, but most of the time it's like $5, $5.50. So you can use that in your calculations to see if it's worth it. Next up, I hit two massive clothing clearance sections. And the thing with the clothing, Carter's, no, actually, no matter where you're at, they had Adidas and Nike stuff here too. No matter where you're scanning, even if you're scanning at Ross, DJ Maxx, you're going to scan like 20 items and maybe only one will actually come up on Amazon. That's totally normal. And then you're going to be seeing that it doesn't actually make any profit or the rank is really high or it has no rank. So it is a little bit of a adventure and scanning clothing but it does go real fast like when i was scanning bras at belk before you just go real fast and if it doesn't have it just move on scan 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 the upc so you can go fast just keep scanning after all of that clothing i went over to like the baby diapering and like tooth like paste whatever mouth stuff and so here is a Burt's Bees lotion that I found and I just wanted to show you it doesn't make a lot it makes like two dollars profit but a reason I wanted to show it to you is because it has different packaging which is just fine you can still sell it if the packaging is different as long as the item is the same and the scents the same the ounces are the same all of that the packaging doesn't matter so I'm guessing that since Burt Bees and it looked like that Shea Moisture baby stuff has all new packaging this year. All that other stuff with the old packaging, we might start seeing it at Grocery Outlet, Ollie's, TJ Maxx, Ross. So keep an eye out for that stuff because I have a feeling it's gonna end up over there and it could make profit. One last item I found here is a toothbrush set that again is okay for FBA, but you'll be able to FBM it and make even more profit. So this one I found again here at Bye Bye Baby. Now I am not gonna add Bye Bye Baby to my retail arbitrage sourcing, but I do do it for online arbitrage. I do recommend it for online arbitrage. If you have tactical arbitrage, uh, that is really good and Bye Bye Baby's on there. So that's how I've been finding a lot of the stuff that I find at Bye Bye Baby online. Just because like, they, it's easier to shop the clearance online. Anyways, it's just easier online. So I won't, I don't necessarily recommend for retail arbitrage, but for online arbitrage, it is really good. So that's this video i'm gonna head over to ollie's and continue my sourcing so hopefully i do better um because didn't do real good at this store but so far the morning has been going great anyways thanks so much for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like these videos i have more sourcing videos coming soon